Hey everybody, it's Kate here, and it's for my Herbs to Plants vlog. Technically, for me, it's number four, but for you, it's number three, because I still haven't uploaded that deleted Herbs to Plants vlog, and what I'll probably do is later I'm going to go on my mom's computer and see if I can edit it there, um, and then upload it from her computer so I don't have to put it back on my iPad or my phone, and then edit it, and then put it on capture, and then get it on YouTube, and... I, that, that'll just be too much. So I'm going to try and do it on my mom's computer first. Um, so I will hopefully have that up today because I have nothing else to do. Yay, TGIF, it's Friday. But I am really tired and I just look like crap, which is why I'm wearing a hat even though it's hot out. Um, because I, A, I'm sick. I've been feeling like crap for the past few days. And my class went on a field trip today. All of the 8th graders in my school went on a field trip today to a like hiking trail type of thing but they were three really long trails we had to hike all the way there and back technically no breaks at all i mean when we did get to the little landmarks we had like five to ten minutes breaks but we only had like 10 minutes to eat lunch which is ridiculous to me i mean i i don't know i just started eating my lunch on the trail but my legs are so tired my feet are hurting really bad and i just mm, not feeling well so short thing today but basically all I have to tell you is that I'm going to get that uploaded today hopefully the deleted one and then um, I'm going to show you right now since I have nothing else to say I'm going to show you how I like detach and reattach my herbs to plants um, and it's not breaking the herbs to plants it's meant to kind of detach and like attach again so you can open your mouth wider and kind of have more movement because when it's attached like this and the pole and the pipe are with each other you know um you can't move your teeth to the side very much as you can see you can go a little bit but then the pipe blocks it and yeah you can't really move your mouth but if you detach it then you can move your mouth free range like you would normally but it's usually not recommended um, because some people have a hard time putting it back together and then they have trouble with it and then it'll break and just it's hard which is why I'm going to show you how to do this because I find it more comfortable when I'm just like sitting or I have my hands on my face like that um, to have it detached for like a short period of time you don't want to have it off for like days at a time but um, it's okay too every once in a while if you, you just ugh, tired. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. To detach it, basically, I'm gonna explain the mechanism. Then I'm gonna detach it and then reattach it for you guys. So the mechanism is a pole and a pipe. The pipe is attached at the top, and then the pole is attached to the bottom. And then the pole just basically goes inside of the pipe, and it lets your teeth move. Up and down like that so that you're not totally restricted but for side to side motion you can't move too much so that your teeth will be aligned most people have this for an overbite or an underbite but I actually have I have a really slight overbite which is why I I would have had rubber bands if I didn't have my crossbite for the overbite but it's kind of doing two things at once for me so crossbite is when you one side of your jaw naturally grows faster than the other either on the top or the bottom if it's on the top then you almost immediately have to get surgery for that because it's really not easy to fix it with a herbs appliance but if you have it on the bottom with either side growing faster it'll be much easier for them to fix with the herbs appliance it's completely metal um all you have is like a little metal brace on the back teeth of the top and then for the bottom teeth you have a brace on the you have it on kind of two teeth, teeth in right here but it is attached to the back a little bit too and you have a wire going uh, like a thick wire going all the way along the inner side of your teeth like this So you can see that. And then to detach it, all you really have to do is go into like a natural like yawning position or if you're going to open your mouth really wide to eat like a hamburger or an apple or something, um, it'll just automatically become detached even though that may not be the best thing. But they measure it for your mouth so that you can open it easily, but it won't happen all the time. So you can see. They just become detached and you can rest your teeth normally. Sorry, I just bit on a metal. <laughs> um, 
So basically the back poles just rest in the back of your gums, but the top ones kind of hang down when you talk so you can hear it in your head. And when you bite down on them, you get a big crunch of metal and it's not fun. It's not comfortable at all. So you can see. There they are. And then um, basically to reattach it, all you need to do is take your thumb and get the poles up, get the pipes backwards so they're, they're aligned, and then just wiggle your teeth a little bit to get them inside of each other and bite down and then you're all good again and you can just start going on your merry way. So I'm gonna show you how to do that on just one side for the demo so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna put both of them together and you won't be able to see because my fingers cover the part where they go together. Um, so yeah, show you on this side. Show you, yeah, right here. See, and that just attached on this side so that you could see it, and it's pretty easy. I mean, they're a little small, so it's hard at times, especially when you have, like, food in your mouth and people around, and you're like, I don't want to open my mouth too wide, but you really have to. Um, and then this side is still detached, which it's really hard to attach one, rest, and then attach the other, so I just do both of them at once. So I'm going to detach this one and then do them both at the same time, which you won't be able to see as well. And as you can see, I wiggled my left hand a little bit right there because they weren't quite aligned. Like the, the pole was kind of on top of the pipe, like crooked. So you just need to wiggle your fingers around together while squeezing them um, so that it'll align by itself. And then you just bite down and they go completely together and they're fine again. So basically, there's that demo. I hope that helped you a lot, and I hope the lighting was okay, because I kind of checked the screen to make sure, but I don't know. Comment down below if that wasn't good enough lighting and you want me to upload another little one with me attaching it again so you can see it in a little bit better lighting, um, but it's getting kind of dark, so I have to have my lamp on, so I, I'm a yellow monster. Um, so yeah like this video if you liked it share it with your friends on social medias and um i don't know subscribe to my channel maybe maybe yeah so i will see you tomorrow possibly later today from the past from the the video um i my room's still a mess sorry about the mess but um i gotta clean up my room today anyways so that I can show you my art wall in front of me and kind of behind me and kind of all over. And hopefully I will be able to show you my patio in that video if there's still good enough lighting. So, excited for that. Um, yeah, I guess see you tomorrow. Bye.